Hi guys. All right, we're gonna do a Shein haul. I, I don't even remember the last time that I even did a Shein haul, um, but I've actually had several orders since my last one. I just decided not to do a haul of it, but I didn't wanna miss out on this order. So we're gonna go and get into it. There's a couple of clothing items, um, but there's actually a lot of like stationary items, stickers, stuff for journaling. So I wanna share with you guys how great she is. For all of that. Um, especially if like you can't or don't wanna buy one of my own kits from Etsy, where I do like junk journal kits, I'd still love to tell you guys where you can go to shop and get these things for yourself if you want to. You know Dollar Tree is one of my favorites. Shein is another one. So let's dive in. Honestly, I don't even know if I, some things I'm just, I'm gonna be honest, I'm not gonna do a try on of it. Like this, for example, this is a little two piece like lounge set. And I saw it, it was super cute. I don't know why, but it makes me think of like boxing. I think maybe it's just like the way that the logo was done. But yeah, it just has this like high-waisted feel to it. The material is super soft. It says Angel. I could have done without the lighting. Sorry, it's going to adjust because uh, the the black on the white. But I could have done without the Angel, you know, if I'm being honest. But I think it's still a really cute set just to kind of lounge in. If I want to, I can also throw on like just a white button up. Um, and just like casually walk around the house like that. It's, it's actually a pair of leggings, um, but this one's a little different. I wasn't sure how I was gonna feel about it, but they are like the bell bottomy type. Now, listen, I feel like this new generation coming in, they're wearing these leggings, they're like, oh my gosh, look how cute these are. But were you around? when we did the bell bottom thing. Um, not even not even like just the 70s, but when we brought it back as well in the 90s, cause like I wasn't around in the 70s. But the gaucho pants, I wore those and I wore them to work. So it just, it's, it's trauma. It's trauma induced for me to have any sort of bell bottom, but I was just like, okay, let's give it a go. As you can see, it's just pretty plain. Um, yeah, there's, I think that's the back. Yeah, there's just no no detail. And I, I, I like that, you know, I like their plain, but we'll see if I actually wanna wear these. As most of you know, you've watched my sudden shift into pink land. I, the, you're, you're seeing my palette here. Neutrals, black, like this is my favorite color to wear. It'll always be my favorite color to wear. But pink has a choke hold on me lately. And when I saw this, I said, yeah. Now, listen, here's the rest of it. Where's the, where's the rest of the material? Um, it's actually such a super cute top, um, just looking at it because I haven't tried it on. Um, but I have to say I did get this from a filming perspective. So like when you see me, you'll see this. Now from an everyday wear for me, I think I would probably wear this over another layer to kind of like extend out. Maybe not be so cute. There's nothing wrong, by the way, with anyone wearing whatever they want to. Um, and I would have to wear something for me personally to feel comfortable in this. I would have to wear something a little bit more high-waisted. Um, but I think this is so beautiful. Like the, the pink check. But here's the best part. The little hearts are like a... Do you see this? Look at these little sleeves. The next item is just a sports bra. I saw it and I was a sucker for it. Um, yeah, it's plain, but it's the back. Um, and most of you know this about me, but as far as like workout stuff goes, sports bras are my favorite piece of any athletic outfit and the back especially. And this back is just really pretty. It's just, it's pretty to me. So I love it. It's just not like, you know, all the typical racer back 
ones that you get so yeah love that all right next this has a story i hope it's not a long one because like it's just a story about lululemon but i saw this girl basically on tiktok and she was doing a lululemon haul and in the video she showed that lululemon had these new like leggings and they were this forest green and they added neon yellow details to it and i sucked in a breath like the gasp is a gasp an exhale though not an inhale whatever um and but i don't buy myself lululemon i bought myself a lululemon bum bag which i still have yet to wear by the way but i digress um i just tend to like cheaper clothing i don't mind gifting it actually i love gifting you know lululemon because i know people love that stuff um so i love to gift it but i don't necessarily want to buy it for myself anyways see too long of a story then i saw shein made these shorts now obviously lululemon they were leggings but when i saw the shorts with this color combo with this neon yellow and this like army green in my cart it went um and i just love this i'm also very much a neon yellow person um it was one of my favorite colors to wear when i would jog um i don't really run anymore but i want to start running again but anyways i love those shorts already and i haven't even tried any of the songs it's been in this bag all right next up i don't really know i don't know I have to try this on we'll see i'll try to do a clip i don't know if i'm gonna want to do a clip so if you don't see a clip because i didn't want to do it but it's a little athletic dress it actually has quite a bit of weight to it and it's looking like there's a little too much going on than i wanted to there's like ruffly layers um the back i really like like the back crisscross is really pretty it does have shorts underneath because it is like a tennis dress essentially um so i'll try this on i yeah but i don't know how well it's gonna fit because the straps aren't adjustable it doesn't look like it are they yeah they're not so anyways i just thought i'd give that a go next up is a pink sweater no one is surprised by this purchase it's just a mock neck cable knit and it's just she and sweaters man they've they have gotten so good next up is this really cute dress um i just couldn't walk away from it there was just something so adorable about it i love the flow of it it just seems like it's just gonna like hang off of me rather than you know like kind of squeeze around my curves but it was really all the stringy stuff we'll see if it like fits me nicely i'm not sure but like the stringy black parts of it i that's really kind of what like sold me i also got what is this i forgot what this is oh this is like another little like lounge set essentially it's like these little shorts um super cute and then it comes with like the the matching bra but it's really so much the material like it's just really soft and it gives the whole casual feel to it you know i'm assuming this is more like a bra and panty set because it's got like just the boy shorts of it but super cute to lounge in as well and just throw on a sweater let's get into jewelry next actually one of them are these earrings that i'm wearing right here they are so cute and pretty i've been loving this whole style the name is escaping me there's a name for this and i forget what it's called but um so then i also bought it in the form of a necklace so I'll show you guys how pretty it is. I've just been really liking all things vintage. And of course, this one has the black to it. So 100% I was going to scoop that up. But yeah, it's a necklace. I also bought the matching... What did I buy? I bought the matching 
oval earrings or hang on where are they here we go yeah i bought the matching earrings to that and so cute Vintage is definitely something that I'm just in love with lately. Okay, so I've got that one. Then I bought, I think, every color that they had in this necklace. Yeah, because I have it here. It's like a neutral, a green, and then a pink. Like, I would never have bought the pink before. Okay, so here it is. It's actually two layers. It has kind of like the gold coin medallion. And then this is the back, the smoother surface, but then the front is definitely giving Kendra Scott, and I really like that without the Kendra Scott price. So um, it has the chain link rather than the medallion, but here's the green. Like, how pretty is that I think gold coin? But here's the color camera's washing it out a little bit but it's just it just looks like a rose quartz in there like it has that rough like can you tell it has like the rough rock look to it so so pretty love that um all right next up i got these earrings now i was so confused i was like wait did i already buy those but i think i was thinking of these because this was from a completely different order actually um, I have bought, I've bought a bunch of jewelry from Shein and I, you guys haven't seen it. But anyways, I actually saw these earrings for the first time on like a bigger website and they were expensive. And then they were on Shein. Like these little blue, white and blue hearts. Like what is this print called? Because this also has a, like a specific name to it. I got another one of those like floating necklaces at least that's what i'm calling it because you can't tell that it's on any type of string because it's clear so when you wear it on your skin you don't see the necessarily see the clear part like you can obviously see it right right there but when you don't see the back yeah it just kind of looks like a floating piece so this one is a little like gemstone I have this in a heart version from Shein, and I have this in the pearl version, which you guys see me wear my pearl a lot. It's just like a little solid pearl on a clear chain or clear necklace, and all you see is the pearl. So it looks like it's like floating. So I found they had this one, so I wanted to, to get it because I really like that whole feature. Next up is this bracelet, which I think is like a dupe for David Yearman, and... This out of the entire haul, this item impressed me the most, and I can't express this enough, but in person, this is stunning. And I think I had other colors in my cart, and I don't know what happened, but the little stones on the inside are emerald, and it's just so pretty. Like, that is a gorgeous bracelet, and I definitely need to go back online and see what, what else they have, because this truly impressed me now is it gonna tarnish is it gonna make my skin green i don't know but i guess i'll find out all right next up is a pearl choker something that i do is i love to look at jewelry stacks on like pinterest or i'll even follow like all those pretty accounts and you know sometimes the jewelry is like really expensive but i get ideas from how they stack their necklaces and then i go over to shein and try to find something similar if that makes sense so this pearl choker buy was based off of something that i had seen that was more expensive if that makes sense so it has the little gold medallion now let's get into all of the other items that I got in this haul, which are all of the stationary sticker finds. So I picked up several packs of these, which is just like um, names for anything is escaping me and it constantly escapes me. It's like vellum. There we go. Vellum paper. Super pretty. And... Or, I use vellum paper. This doesn't really have a print to it. Printed vellum is pretty, but like plain whatever. Next up, I got 
this sticker book now what i'll say about shein and it's something to definitely pay attention to is that some items not all you just have to see which ones they are because they say it they are a random pick so they'll show you the options they have but you don't get to choose which option you get you get what's sent randomly so in this instance i know that this was a random pick and i ordered two but like I wish they would have at least given me the opportunity to give me a different one instead of the same exact one, if that makes sense. So that's just something that you have to look out for, but this is a sticker book. And so as you can see, obviously I got two of the same and I'll just insert like a flip through clip of this here. Um, Cause it'll just be a lot easier to see, but these are really great stickers. There's some that even has like, uh, that's interesting. They have kind of like a Harry Potter. Then I ordered this box of little cards and they come in, well, the box is like completely done, but it's this, this is what I ordered. I forget how many you get in here, probably like a hundred. And these come in multiple colors, by the way, they have like pink and yellow and blue. They've had white and black. Um, and I went for this just natural color. I think it's so fun and it's definitely for journaling. So these little cards will come in candy. You can make tags out of them. So I got a pack of those. Then I got little like journals like this where they give you like vintage paper. This is another one of those items where they send you what's random. So you don't necessarily get to pick. I really wish that wasn't the case again, but um, this one with the butterflies is really pretty. So these are all little just like pages of vintage paper. They're not a sticker or anything. They're just, yeah, you just tear them out and you use them however you want to use them. So I got that. Then I picked up some treat bags. This is something where I'm like, you know what? Let me type this into Shein and see what comes up um, because I love finding these at Dollar Tree. Now these are really cute and special because they're thin. And you really don't get thin little bags like this at Dollar Tree. So, um, so this, this is what I got. Cute little hearts. And again, this is all for junk journaling. The pink one has little stars on it. And then the little polka dots. Yeah, so this is a really pretty set. It's very springtime and cute. And I can definitely ink it up and make it look weathered and vintage. So... I'm excited for those. Next up, I got a packet of what just looks like antique tickets or like faux antique tickets. Um, I'll go ahead and do a shot of all of the options, but this is really cute. But yeah, they're just little tickets and it's one of my favorite little things to journal with. Tickets or receipts or you know, little things like that that just seems kind of like random. Here is another one that I got again. Like I wish they would have sent me a different one. All right, next up, this one is packaged super cute and just has all the vintage feels. There's gonna be a combination of papers and stickers in here. And I really like, some of these actually might just be paper and not stickers. Um, but yeah, it's just gonna be like random little pieces. I'll insert a clip as well for this. And it just looks really cute. I can't wait to kind of like open this and dive into it. And yes, my junk journal lives are coming soon. I'm thinking I'm gonna do one next Friday. So be prepared. We're gonna get to journaling. All right, so we got that one. Now this little sticker pack came in this little plastic case which is so interesting because usually Shein does not do that so this one's very interesting but this one has like all food things it's got loaves of bread and like pastries or pies and waffles in here it is so freaking cute um there's even like sandwiches looks like some like blts in here now most of the sticker sets come in these little boxes um instead so i found that one to be really interesting these are going to have more of a strawberry vibe so i'll go ahead and insert the clip here of what some of those look like the red box has more of a stamp look to it um, and I'm not really entirely sure about the second box because I haven't seen, but they're probably just like normal. Yeah, they just seem like actually they might even be like little pieces of paper and not stickers. So just very like 
French pastries, you know, so I got that one. Okay, next up are these little packs. These, I think, it's hard for me to remember, but um, these could also be another one of those you order and you get, you don't get to choose necessarily what you receive, but they show you what you can receive, if that makes sense. So it's not like completely blind. So you can at least say, oh, I'm willing to roll the dice or, or no, but this one is just pretty random. They've got all of these like little stickers and I think they're actually so cute. Um, but yeah, but they are stickers. So you can definitely, some of them aren't even like turned the right way, but they're just, they just have that like super cute little vintage look to it. Food sticker pack. This one looks new. I have not received this one before, so I'm very excited about it. I think it's definitely, yeah, it's another really cute sticker set that has a French page, pastry coffee thing to it. And I'm very excited to use these um, to journal with. So got that one. I have another pack of one of these. So I'm not gonna open that one since I already did a clip. Um, looks like I have a different selection here. So I'll go ahead and insert a new clip of these, but these look slightly different from the other one. I love how some of the papers in here just show like, kind of looks like a record slips and book, you know, like when you have like the book logs and stuff. So it kind of looks like that. So I love and adore the papers at Shein. Okay, then they also have stickers that look like this. I'm gonna insert a clip. Um, I still don't even know if the clip is gonna do it justice at all really, but it has like a foiled outline to them and they just look so stunning. So this one just has like a floral little thing to it. So I got that. All right, next up looks like another pack of just vintage, vintage stickers. It's really hard to see in the pack, so I'll insert a clip here, but it just looks like a bunch of like a little vintage stickers and they're so, pr it's kind of hard to see. I mean, I'll see when I'm filming the clip of this, but I'm very excited to use these as well. They're just gonna look so pretty. Um, to just journal with. Here's another little food pack. This one has more of a vintage feel to it. So I'll insert the clip now of the food here, but I definitely love this variety. Um, yeah, this one definitely is more vintage than all of the other ones. Um, okay, next up, I have this little um, pack here which looks like we're gonna get some like teddy bear stickers in here. So these are super cute. I think I have these. I mean, I just love anything teddy bears anyways. So um, I do think I have these. I just haven't used them yet, but yeah, they just have really cute, ooh, they actually have the vintage teddy bears, but it looks like a coffee pack of stickers. And that's the other thing too. Like if you just love coffee things and you just want like a whole coffee or you want these, Let's say you're not into junk journaling, but you are into planning or bullet journaling. Little coffee stickers are cute from Shein. You know, if you wanna write like a coffee date or you wanna get coffee. Then we have this little pack right here. And this is such a cute sticker pack. This is another thing that I really love about Shein. It's like all of their little like dolls and their images are drawn so precious. Here's another pack. Clearly can't see anything, so I'll include a clip, but it just looks like paper tags. Yeah, it's just gonna be really pretty. There's a vintage -y floral rose note to this. So it's just super pretty. It's gonna look gorgeous for Valentine's Day, so I can't wait to use this. Anyways, super cute. Another pack of the coffees. Then I have this one. Ooh, this one I'm so excited about. Now these stickers have like a very clear transparency to them and it makes them so beautiful. Are really interesting stickers. They're like clear and they have this like white lace detail to them. It's not real lace. It's like 
sticker lace i guess you could say and they're just jars they're just a bunch of like jars and things and it just looks really cute so inserting a clip here so you guys can kind of really see what they look like but yeah so i just feel like this is like a good staple to have um for journaling so i got those and then the last thing which is pretty random but it's these deck of cards and it's like a um embroidered patch i was definitely thinking ooh, so cute you only get two in here for the price but i was definitely thinking of journaling with this and i was thinking of alice in wonderland and that's it for today's haul i hope you guys enjoyed if you did please give this video a big thumbs up and i'll see you next time bye